Hi, I have this old cooler bag and unfortunately the puller has come off. So the zip is no longer working. Over here I have the tape and it has become unstitched from the bag and that is why the puller had come off. So I'm going to demonstrate how to get this puller back onto the tape and get the teeth to engage again and the puller must not fall off like it has over here. So the first step is to see if we can try and get the puller back on the tape. So I'm feeding the teeth into the back of the puller and I am able to get the one side in but this is where it gets difficult. Right, I'm going to try and get the other side in here because the teeth are broken and it's become unstitched I might be unsuccessful. So the first thing is to try and get this in and obviously I'm trying to pull it so if you cannot get your puller back on the tape, the trick is to open the back a little bit. So I'm going to take some long nose pliers and I'm just going to squeeze it in there just to open the back a bit. You could use a screwdriver or something that will allow you to open the back of this body. So I'm just opening it a bit. Right, so it is opened a bit. I don't need to open it too much. Now, because it's open like that, I can actually just put the teeth in from the side. So I can do the one side, but now the other side, it's almost like I'm going to cheat. What I'm going to do is I'm going to push it in from the side. This is only if you couldn't get the puller on. Right, so there you can see the puller is on, but it's not going to zip it because it's too open at the back. So all I need to do now is close the back. So I'm basically undoing what I just did. So I'm undoing that wide opened part at the back. So I'm just squeezing it closed now. So I've squeezed it closed. You can see it's tight on the tape there. And now when I pull the puller, notice that the zipper is now working. There you can see it's working. So all I need to do now is solve this part. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the puller and get it right to the other side so it's out of the way. Right, so I'm just going to open this. It doesn't really matter. All I need to do is just stitch this so that the puller can no longer slide off here. Right, so I'm just taking some needle and thread. I'm going to use black because the tape is black. Right, so I have my needle and thread. There is the end. They are almost the same length and now I can start to stitch it. Right, so I'm first going to cut away the excess teeth that are broken. Right, so I'm just going to start my stitching by looping the needle and thread a few times just so it doesn't come undone. So I just loop it around here three times. Right, so that's tight. Now all I need to do is firstly go around the teeth. So I'm going around the teeth so it doesn't unravel anymore. So this is kind of the last two teeth that I'm going around. Right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew this into that so that the puller cannot slide off here. What you could also do is just stitch a piece of fabric over this whole section. So I'm now stitching the final few teeth together. Right, so because it's frayed, unfortunately it'll probably keep coming undone and won't be a permanent solution. So the best solution would be to get some additional fabric and maybe sew that fabric on. Just choose something that's suitable or if you're in a hurry and you don't worry about the looks, I just turn it upside down and then I can put my fabric on the inside. It doesn't matter what color fabric, so I'm going to just put the fabric on the inside which will stop it from fraying further. Right, I'm specifically taking the needle and going around the teeth so that the teeth cannot unravel. So I'm going around the teeth into the original tape and then back through the additional material that I've put at the back. Now over here I don't necessarily have to go through everything, I can just go in and out.
Right, so I just take my puller towards the back. Right, so there is the puller. And if I show you the underside, it's got this material here. It is stopping the puller, so the puller can't fall out anymore. This is also stopping the fraying. There we go. And this is solid. You can see this puller cannot come out anymore. And when I tighten it, there we go. And if need be, you can put some material over that to finish it off. In my case, I'm going to leave it. Right, thanks for watching and cheers.